talking back braces. That's the reason I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> Dr. Ellen, I don't have a back problem, and I feel like I'm standing up completely straight right now. Can you use these for preventative measures too? I, you know, we they can be used to restrict the mobility of the trunk. Yeah. So if you're someone who's lifting improperly, like from the waist instead of when you're bending at the, gym. At the knees, yeah, yeah they can be these. really useful for that. Okay. Yeah. The reason we're talking about back braces today is because we got a question from one of our viewers, Nancy from West Ashley. She asked, "Do you think that back braces are worth it when it comes to back pain?" I think that's a great question because I guess Nancy wants to know. Should I go out and get one? Is it something that maybe I should invest in? Right. I think that's a great part of conservative care for somebody who has back pain. Okay. Um, really, really, back braces are meant to be worn during specific activities that cause pain. Okay. So people that, let's say, have pain when they're riding in their car or okay. when they're gardening or when they're doing housework, that they put the back brace on and it allows them to better be able to perform their activities. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say, you know, when I'm dusting or trying to bend down and get things, and when you're doing it a lot, especially on Saturday morning, you're trying to get all that cleaning done, your mm -hmm. back can start to hurt. So something yep. like this would just be nice if you could just wear it every now and then. You don't have to wear it every day. Not at all, yeah. And if it, you know, allows you to decrease the amount of medication that you're needing. That's true too. That's also, I mean, any everything that helps is Do you good. sell these items at Southeastern Spine? And I know that you've got we a do. couple different ones, so I guess oh, yeah. you can show us I mean, you know, what's really, the difference. Is this is this the same thing? It's yeah. amazing, <laughs> the difference. So they're different. We have um, different kinds of support um, okay. for, um, you know, moderate, light, and more of like a full support. So the one that I'm putting on right now is more of a full support I was model. just going to say, because yours mm -hmm. has kind of this front plate and this back plate. Right, and even that can be taken out on this one. And then you pull this oh, here, whoops. That is And Velcro it tip. over, yep. And um, you get even more um, support. Okay. So um, you're wearing more of the moderate support, and okay. this is more of the full support. Um, you know, it basically, um, for different people with different problems, not all back right. not all back braces fit one person or one problem. So we've got, you know, multiple different ones. Well speaking and of you can be fitted at Southeastern Spine Institute. Yeah, and them. I was that's a really good point that you bring up being fitted because can kids wear them or people that are, you know, there's some women that are shorter than others. There are some men that are a lot taller than others. So. Yes, yes. I mean, each of these, this, you know, the light, medium, and full support okay. come in different sizes as well. So it would be, you know, better for you. You would get more benefit if you were wearing the appropriate uh, back brace for you. All right. Always a good idea to get evaluated mm -hmm. over at Southeastern Spine to get more information. Uh, where can we find you at, Dr. Ellen? Yes. Uh, so we're located on Chuck Dolly, mm -hmm. um, actually moving into the new building on this Friday. Speaking so. of, we've yeah. got a picture of it. Look yeah. at that. It's great. We're really excited. And what's really cool about the new building, Dr. Ellen, I know that we talk about it every Wednesday, but we want people to understand that it's kind of like a comprehensive building. Everything is now under one roof. Yep, absolutely. You can okay. come get your injection, see your physician for your appointment, um, get your back brace, mm -hmm. get your MRI and many, many other things all under one roof. Everything all under one roof. Mm -hmm. One more question for you, Dr. Ellen. Uh, let's say, for instance, we go in and you say, maybe a back brace might really work for you. After you've used it for maybe a couple months, might it be that you don't need to use it anymore because your yeah. back has kind of corrected itself? Absolutely, you know, a lot of people that have back pain don't have back pain all the time. All the time. You know, and you go several months and you're just fine and then you have a little exacerbation of your back mm -hmm. pain. So yeah, this would be, you know, I think a good tool for anyone who suffers intermittently with back pain to yeah. have. Um, also want to mention the, the website, Dr. L in Southeastern Spine's website because you have a lot of good information and oh, FAQs yeah. there as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Wonderful. Phone number 888-SPINE-50. Did I get it right? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, she's Dr. Ellen, and we'd love to get your questions. Thank you so much, Nancy, for sending your question in this morning. If you have a question for Dr. Ellen Raim, all you have to do is find us on abcnews4.com. Go to the Low Country Live tab, ask her a question, or you can always just email.